keep it a bit zoomed in. So we can see here we have got our uh, launch site built. I think that happens when you build Apollo program, I guess. But I have not built any spaceship parts yet. But India actually has built, uh, I think that's the engine, isn't it? But I don't know if this is super well <laughs> like uh, done, but yeah, we'll discuss Germany at the end. Then. Um, so they got five left to build. We have got six. We are quite close to finishing off on tech. Um, India's four techs ahead of us, which means that they have basically all but one tech that they need. I think they have all but nuclear fusion, right? Uh, by the seams of it. And then there's future tech as well. Plus one happiness in all cities. But we do have one very good thing going for us, which is... I mean, number one, we have really good production. Like, uh, we have all these terrace farms um, and high pop cities and stuff. So, yo. Cheered 100 bits. Cheers. I don't actually know what that means, but... Uh, I appreciate it. A bit something you get for being in the channel, I assume. <laughs> Cheers though, man. Um, yeah, we got good production, and the big thing that we have is International Space Station, uh, which we built. It was their world project, and we got first in it. 200 production in city, where it is built whenever you unlock a new tech. Um, Jesus. Fair things happening. Yo. <laughs> Cheers, man. I think that makes you the first sub, although it says there is one. I can't see the subs list, but cheers, man. Uh, yeah. 1,400 production every time we research a tech in the capital. And I believe that it still works with uh, future tech. So we should get a lot of triggers of that. And um, yes, a couple of other things to think about. We did a very good job on Indonesia. I took all of these cities. I profited all of them because I didn't want to deal with the unhappiness and also increasing our light tech and stuff costs. Um, but I think I now need to peace out because basically when building this you actually get a production penalty from happiness um so we do need to try and get happy before we start building all the parts uh we're building sir and that will give us one um it'll give us two free techs also i bought a great scientist and we got another one coming next turn so we're gonna be done with the techs like <laughs> next turn basically uh and we're just gonna be building spaceship parts from then so yeah we need to peace out oh, so that yo. we can uh, be happy. I oh, believe. Uh, how much is this going to be? Uh... Can't do maths right now, man. Is that good? One seventy six. Perfect. So we'll take a capitulation from them. Oh. We will buy their resource as well. Bug yo. I guess we'll sell all of our shit to them also. Cause we might as well. Thirty six. 38. Perfect. Oh, we'll buy this well. perfume as well. Come on. It's probably like. Nice. Okay, that sorted the happiness somewhat. I reckon once the war weariness ticks down, we will be pretty close to being happy. We might be able to get rid of some urbanization. Yo, man. Yeah, finally got Indonesia. Oh, God. They were so annoying, this game. <laughs> Jesus, dude. 
<laughs> Didn't manage to get any of their monopolies, unfortunately. Maybe we have the pepper one if we if we repair all the stuff. There's a couple of pepper over here. Yeah, if we repair those two, we will actually uh, have the pepper monopoly. So plus ten percent cold char. And yeah, been thinking about how to do the spaceship parts. So. Coming up, right, we have this policy, Academy of Sciences, and it's going to give us a refund of production on all of the um, research labs that we've already built. So that will be in the top, in the first five cities that we have. So Cusco, Tiwanaku, Baku 2 mate, uh, Olia Tambo and Machu are those cities. But basically, Buck U2 mate has way less production than the other ones, and I never got around to building a spaceship factory here. So I think my plan is going to be build one space part in each of these, and actually build three in the capital, because we're going to get so much bonus production from Tex, and it's just like a really high production city as well, because we built a nuclear power station here, that um, I reckon we can do that. And that will be quicker than... We'll be able to build three here quicker than we can build one here, basically. Is what the conclusion I've come to. So. Yes, we're going to put that in to make sure we get the overflow on that. We're going to buy these. So that we can start on the other spaceship parts next turn. I also locked like maximum production in these cities as well, pretty much. We also have a writer coming here though, which I did want to get. And uh, I'm hoping that, because we still have a spare great writer here, that we can try and get up to this final policy that will give us quite a big uh, production boost, because we got quite a few internal trade routes. And a couple more that I never assigned, which are going to go to these three cities. I feel like... It's hard to say exactly, but I feel like we will have the three done here before we have one done here <laughs> of each of the spaceship parts, just because we are going to get so much from it every time we get a tech. Um, so yeah, I'm going to send production to each of these cities, especially this one actually, to make sure we get that done. Sometimes trade routes give more to certain places. Okay. We'll do that. This one either goes to Machu or Tiwanaku. And then there's one more we have as well, which is this one. Okay, we'll send this one to Siwanaku. And Machu. Nice, so like, which city do we actually have the most production in? It's pretty similar between them. This one actually has the most, okay. Fair enough. So yeah, and I'm not even going to bother with this wind power station. I'm going to do arts here as well, like I'm doing everywhere else. Like I said, I want to get to that final policy. Um, it feels really unstable, like when I'm moving across, everything is a bit weird. <laughs> I hope it doesn't crash. We are late game though, so that kind of stuff can happen. And I guess one last thing to look at is tourism, um, but I think we're safe on that. Like, remember, they would still need to build the building after getting influential with us. And we have a writer and we have another one coming. So I honestly think we're OK on that. Yo. Rob, mate, how you doing? This is going to be a pretty crazy end game. I mean, I imagine if you don't play it will mean nothing to you, but... <laughs> yeah, man. Does that... What does that mean? People can sub, or is that something else? 
I haven't honestly, like, I got to the affiliate and then I haven't used Twitch at all since then. So this is, like, the first time um, having the affiliate stuff. True, true, true. Right. CERN is done. That's two free texts. Now the way we want to do this is use the great scientists first because I wanted to get the free text for the more expensive ones, particularly this one which hasn't been researched yet so there's no uh, reduction on it. Okay, we got some big great scientists man, 30k science, it's like more than a tech each. All men can see the and the production is going into the spaceship part each time. We're going to have so much overflow. <laughs> now we get two free techs. The new one. Easy. And we now have like 28k spare science. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to do some more streams now though actually. I thought this would be a good one to do, because uh, we started this game on stream, so we might as well finish it. And then uh should do quite a few new games soon, actually, once we're done with this one. Okay, Spaceship Factory is done, and we've got all the text, so we can start building the parts. We'll do. It doesn't matter which one we do, they all cost 8,000 anyway. Um, Oh yeah, built a caravan here. Okay, cool. So yeah, we nearly finished this straight away just with the production boost. And the next one will take six turns. And we'll get two more production boosts as well. Oh, I just meant like more Civ games. There are some other games I could play actually. I don't want to trigger anyone. But I think I will get humankind. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to cause controversy, but I want to at least try it. Um, to be honest, I'll, I'll watch some YouTube videos actually, because I've read like decent reviews um, that make me think it's worth playing, but I haven't actually like seen it, so I'll take a look at it first. Okay, we definitely want to do kidnap specialists. That's the only one that actually gets us something. And one thing kind of missed was stasis chamber as well. Man, India is rather scary this game. Two parts out of six done. I mean, we should be able to outproduce them, but they do have a head start. We'll have a diplomat there next turn, so we'll be able to check out what they're doing as well. Okay, not too much shit to do. I don't really care about this stuff. Like, world ideology, I mean, they're actually, like, halfway to having enough votes, and then they would get a couple more with that, but, like, they're not going to have time to do that. I'm thinking we can easily get this done before, like, two... 85 or something so i'm just gonna go for this uh we're trying to repeal their sphere of influence on Prague that they did i think we would get the alliance back if we can do that i should have a spare diplomat as well why don't we send them over here we're actually up to being happy Ah, oh, he got some Brazil as well. We should take that. Muscle. Um. Ah, oh, and we did get this quest. I don't know if you saw, but we got like 30 experience on every unit. Which is kind of crazy, because we have a lot of units that we've been using all game. I mean, our units are so highly promoted just because they've had so much work to do this game. Uh, yeah, I would like to grow this city. 
But I can't right now, I don't think. Maybe, I guess we don't actually need to work so many specialists here, now that we've got that done. Eighteen. I've... I'm gonna wait. Mm, it would be good because we actually could fill up another slot. Let's do it because our wall weariness is taken down as well, right? I'm sure we can get rid of more urbanization if we need to. Okay, unfortunately I'm going to have to move around like a million units now. This should be the final time that we have to move shit about. But I kind of should like bring stuff over here just in case England attacks. Because if they uh, started messing with our tiles over here, then that would slow down the spaceship part. Okay, another caravan as well. So we can check like which ones we should send caravans to by which one um, has the most like negative production to being done in nine turns. Um, yeah. So this guy is gonna go to Tiwanaku. Yep, you're good. This one needs to go here. There's actually some more spaces to build stuff around the city as well. That should have done earlier. Ah, there's another trader as well. Okay. 200. So technically, I guess to match you, because actually we'll, we'll get a decent production boost here once we grow the city and we get to work something better. It's kind of a weird route, like why wouldn't it just go? Oh no, it is just a normal route, okay, cool. Maybe I should create general something off England as well over here. Doesn't seem like there's anything worth taking that wouldn't require us to build over something we've already built as well. We can't build one there anyway. But yeah. All the artillery in the world. Another game, I've been enjoying that uh, Atomic War, I posted some videos about it on YouTube. Um, it's pretty fun actually. I know like, uh, I'm guessing a lot of you aren't really into it because it's Dota, it's not really crossover with like strategy game, but it's kind of like a strategy, like a uh, custom game in Dota. this done. Man, some of these guys are getting close to having logistics as well. That would be rather insane. Okay, repair that. Just chill there. Another archaeological thing to do. Uh, somebody needs to go and do this. And uh, whoops, can't be bothered to move these guys.
Right. Let's just do some auto dudes. And actually walk through that territory now. I mean, we could easily like smash some people if we really wanted to with this army, especially because we can upgrade to um, giant death robots now as well. I think, yeah. But it's cool. It's kind of long, so it can't be bothered. Okay, that should be the final of the units done. We may never have to do that again, which would be lovely. Okay, I do want to get a great scientist here rather soon, actually. As soon as possible. Okay, it's like no quicker. But whatever. Um... Alright, it should be quicker from now on. Just had to sort all that shit out. Just worried I'm gonna fuck something up, but I don't see what I could possibly fuck up, to be honest. Any caravan sitting around? Nope. This is locked. It would be a slight fuck up if we became unhappy. Let's just chill one turn, yeah. I don't know exactly how it works, like, would it update badly somehow? Yeah, we'll just wait a turn. Be safe about it. Because minus 25% is quite a big uh, penalty. Parantoyan aliliron kito lawan ulon. Of course, our good mates, the Indonesians. Okay, we've still got a decent overflow. This is going to be done. It is basically done. Celts really wanted that, not surprisingly. Nice, we got rid of that too. Got them back. Not quite enough, unfortunately. Building shit there, I guess. Ah, so we did get to the next policy. I actually could have done this last turn. So when we take this, we're going to get refunded production into uh, all of the stuff that we're building, which works well. So let's do this. Ah, we only got nine. Ah, okay. So we got more in these cities. We only got a half in this one. I wonder if that's because we invested it. That's kind of interesting. But also a bit problematic because now we're behind on this one quite significantly. Two turns even behind this one. 
Okay, well, we'd better let it grow then. And... I think we'd better give it some good squares. Like, where is really good that it could be working? This one is very good. This one is very good. Although, to be honest, we're already working a lot of good shit here. So what am I really going to swap? I guess that. Caravan. Well, I know where that's going, unless it's already... Okay, nice. Down to seven. We got great engineers as well, by the way. About to get... The final great engineer we get here should be a big one, actually. Do you know what? I could actually delay it for one turn, and then we would be a bit bigger and it would be worth more. Because if the city grows, then uh, the engineer does more. Okay on that still, and this guy we will put into, I guess, Olia Timbro? Olia Tambo. I'm not saying that right at all, am I? <laughs> Olante Tambo. Okay, cool. Well, we definitely don't want to provoke a war. To be honest, uh, England not attacking us was a bit of a godsend this game, because um, though we probably could have beaten them, like we had a lot of other wars going on, and I'm sure they could have been a big nuisance. I think we agree. The past is over. Here we shall have a one of those, why not? Another spy. Okay, we'll do happiness. Okay, let's use these dudes.
Nice, we got there as well. That's perfect, actually. Iron Curtain. So, plus 5 production in every city and 200% uh, from internal trade routes. Which are giving quite a bit right now. So, 5 turns. A thousand per turn. These give two thousand. So we're looking at three turns, really, aren't we? Three turns plus. Depending on if we can get one done here in three turns. We will have a great scientist next turn. And I can maybe buy one in two turns. Alright, first part. The engine is done. Boom. I'm pretty sure India had already done that. We're on 82 text there, 81. I believe our spy has arrived as well. Wow, they build pretty quick as well. Jesus. They have a... They have a discount on it. I didn't actually know that. Theirs is costing 4 and a bit K. Ours costs 8K. Is that normal or is that because of my mod? I actually don't know. I did change projects for them, but I thought it was only the um, public works and stuff. It wasn't really intended for this. Although it probably does help because they always take a long time to build uh, spaceship stuff, don't they? Like, normally they'll reach the end of the tech tree and then it'll be like a good 15 turns or something before they're done. Okay, they'll have another one in two turns. I mean, they're not going to do another three, surely, in the next three turns. I will be fucking impressed if they do. Probably should have done that before. <laughs> Ah, oh, we are growing here next turn, so... Let's get the engineer as well. Scientist. I don't know, man, I can't... Uh, I only have one spy, so I, I don't know. I don't think there's any way of me finding that out. But like they they definitely could be building anything, so um, they probably are, yeah. Jesus, that's pretty good. Okay, we don't need this guy anymore, so let's do that. And yeah, we might use these great engineers next turn. Actually, I don't need to be working this anymore. I could fucking build shit. Oh, I didn't grow. What? <laughs> Why not? Fuck's sake. OK, 
Okay. No, I like to have everything built. Makes me feel good. Alright. Um, yeah, go on. Okay, another part done. Up to spaceship. Yep. India did not complete anymore. That is true. That is true. I don't think we need to do that. This is done in three. Um, two, three, four, T, two, one, one. We're going to get another pop here as well. Do I have any more caravans that are like done? Or about to be done. Okay, we've got another caravan. So they get about 200 production when the citizens are born. So let's go here big engineer is gonna go there I mean, I feel like we're not going to... I feel like... Yeah, we're not going to do it faster than two turns. Did I put that one in the wrong place? Maybe. But two turns is fine anyway. That one's nearly done in one as well. Wow. But I mean, there's no... I could have done the bigger one there, but even then, I don't think I would have made it. I don't know, man. Um, two turns should be fine, regardless. Because that one would take two anyway. Problem is, this production boost that we get here triggers after. Jesus, you finished that one. I believe that was in the capital. I think we agree. The past is over.
Yeah. So unfortunately we've gone over on some of these. <laughs> but either way, we would have been waiting for this one anyway. I don't know that. I don't know. Maybe it was possible if I had it all planned out perfectly beforehand. Alright, let's finish building some shit since the game is about to end. Okay, not that then. Never built this military academy. Sad times, man. Oh my god, I think we are going to do it. Actually only one policy behind now as well. Let's have one last great scientist. Just for the sake of it. Oh. Well, I assume we should. Unless India does three parts this turn, which I find quite unlikely, we've got this. They're not building one here, though, which kind of implies they're building them elsewhere, which means they actually could. Um... Kind of crazy though, how far they pushed us. Let's see. Wow, he did do one. <laughs> wow. Not enough though, unfortunately. So much overflow on those. Scientist. Let's use him. One final tech. I think. Give us a bit of extra score. Does it actually like uh, add to this? It does look like it because the spaceship is like more built, right? It's in the stasis chamber. First booster. You can kind of see that it went to the back. Make sure this one can actually get there. <laughs> okay, it can. Easily. It's kind of weird that you have to, like, manually assemble it. But, okay. 
I guess sometimes you might build it like across the world and have to airlift it in or something. Take an extra turn. Second booster is on. Save the ship. Make sure we get a good view. Oh my god. Actually won this game, man. Can't believe it, dude. This was such a easy one to lose. <laughs> it felt like absolutely crazy India. We'll check out what they were doing, actually. In a sec. Alright, what's the perfect view on this? I know if you're too zoomed out, you don't actually get to see it. I'm going to try here. You have achieved victory through mastery of science. You have conquered the mysteries of nature and led your people on a voyage to a brave new world. Your triumph will be remembered as long as the stars burn in the night sky. 